Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In today's lesson, we are going to look at how to unplug and plug a pluggable database. Now, what does it mean to unplug a pluggable database? Very simple. It means disassociating that pluggable database from its container database. And then to plug in the database means to associate that pluggable database with a container database. So you can either plug that PDB into the same CDB or another CDB. In high level, the steps to follow in order for you to unplug and plug a, a pluggable database include the following. First, ensure that you close the pluggable database you want to unplug. And then the second step is to unplug the pluggable database to XML. Then the next step will be to drop the pluggable database. But this time, you are going to keep the data files. And then the next thing you want to do is to plug the pluggable database using the XML. So let's head over to our lab environment and see these steps in practical terms. Well, my database is up and running and you can see that I am connected as the user sys on my SQL developer. So the first thing I want to do is to show con name just to be sure of the container I am currently logged on to. Okay, so I'm going to execute this command. PDB lab is mounted, PDB clone is mounted. So these databases are not open, they are mounted. So let me try to first open all the pluggable databases. So all the pluggable databases have been opened. Just to be sure, I will execute this command again. Okay, so you can see that all the PDBs are now open. So I'm going to alter the session and set the current container to PDB clone. That's the one we want to unplug, okay? Session has been altered. Now I'm going to select everything from hr.employees just to be sure that everything is fine. Now remember we said that you must be in the, in the root container for you to be able to unplug any pluggable database. So I'm going to alter the session. Session has been altered. Now, step one, we need to ensure that the PDB we want to unplug is closed. So I'm going to do this, alter pluggable database, PDB clone, close immediate. And then just to be sure, so PDB clone is mounted. Now, the next thing we have to do is to unplug the pluggable database into XML. So for that, I'll execute this command. Alter pluggable database, PDB clone, unplug into, you specify the location and then the XML. That's the, the name of the file, PDB clone.xml. So I'll execute this. It will take a while. Pluggable database, PDB clone, altered. Okay, just to be sure, issue this command. Okay, you can see it's mounted. Now, I need to show you the location of the XML file. So let me quickly open this. So you see where it is. Go to other locations, computer, user one, app, Oracle, Ora data. So you can see the XML file here, PDB, clone.xml. So this XML file actually contains the structure of the database. Okay. I'll quickly close this and then come back to my SQL developer. Now, the next thing we want to do is to drop the pluggable database, but this time we will not include the data files. We are keeping the data files because we will need them. Okay. To plug in the next database. So, Drop pluggable database, PDB clone, keep data files. That's the command. Pluggable database, PDB clone dropped. Okay. So the next thing to do is to create the pluggable database, PDB clone 2. 
using the PDB clone XML. So that's why we have this clause here. Using, we have the location and then the name of the XML, which is PDB clone that we unplugged the other time. And we we'll also specify file name convert to get the data files from the PDB clone location to the new location where we have the new pluggable database. You should be used to this clause by now. So I'm going to execute this. It will take a while. So you can see the pluggable database PDB clone 2 has been created. Let's confirm. Select con ID name open underscore mode from V dollar sign PDB. So I'm going to execute this and then we can see PDB clone 2 is mounted. Hmm? So I would move to that pluggable database so I can actually open it. Alter session set container equal to PDB clone 2. Session has been altered. Now the next thing I want to do is to try to open the pluggable database. So for that we'll execute the command alter pluggable database open. Okay, pluggable database has been opened. So let's select all from hr.employees. And here we are. Guys, here we are. So this is how you can unplug and plug your pluggable database. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it and share it widely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.